Hi, everybody who might watch my videos. I mean, nobody watches my videos, and I don't, <laughs> I don't have a big personality for doing them, but I wanted to make one anyways. So I just wanted to talk about my goals for 2020 this year. Um, we're already almost a month into it, and I don't know. I just finally started thinking about what I want to have happen for me. So one thing that I want to have happen is to make money. So I took a year, I was a daycare, home daycare provider for like two and a half years. And I stopped doing it due to all of the stress because of various things and due to my stomach issues. And I'll get to that in a minute. So I stopped doing daycare and I was trying, during that time, I was trying to um, figure out ways to be a freelancer. I love to write. Um, I love to create content, you know, blogs and all that. That's what I've always loved to do. Always loved to write. So I was trying to get into the world of freelance writing. And of course, that didn't happen. Um, it was really disheartening because you go on these forums and I would read <clears throat> stories from people who tried to be a freelance writer for a month and they ended up getting all these jobs and making a lot of money and that never happened for me. It's been um, a year since trying to make money as a freelance writer and it hasn't happened now i have when i first started out trying my, my writing was kind of rough i would say i didn't know how to put together a blog post effectively now i do i've read books on it you know uh, my blog posts are way better now um but i i mean it's not going to happen for me freelance writing is just not going to happen for me but I will continue to do blogging for fun and hope that maybe someone will read my blog posts and want to read more, be interested in them, and maybe comment, you know, whatever. I would love for that to happen. So, but that that's my other goal. So what was my first goal? First goal is to make money. So yes, I'm going back into home daycare and... I hope that this time around, it will go better. The first year of doing daycare was, I gotta be honest, it was blissful. I had um, six kids, including my own, so five kids. Um, and everything was going great. And then I added a couple more kids, three more kids, and everything, no, two two more kids, and then everything just kind of went downhill. I was stressed, and my stomach issues were getting way worse. I don't know if it, I thought maybe it was due to stress, but then quitting daycare, um, I still had my stomach issues, and they were just as bad or worse, and I call them flare-ups. I've been in a flare, I've been having flare-ups on and off for the past um, I would say like 10 weeks. It's been rough and I don't know what to do. But yeah, so goal number one, make money. Goal number two is to keep blogging and get more visitors to my blog. Goal number three is to Figure out how to deal with my stomach issues better. And I'm kind of thinking that I'll never be able to find out how to deal with them better, but it's going to remain, remain a goal for 2020. Um, it's just been so hard. I, 
I've been looking online and I came across this um, label called or diagnosis called functional dyspepsia. And I'm thinking that that's what I have because it was saying the websites were saying that people with functional dyspepsia have had stum chronic stomach issues throughout for many years and all of the tests that they've taken at the doctor, their doctors um, have come out completely negative and that is me. Every single test that I've gotten for my stomach has been negative. So like ulcers, I don't have any ulcers. I don't have thyroid issues. My thyroid is perfect pretty much. And I don't have diabetes. I don't have anything else wrong with my, there's nothing structurally wrong with my stomach. It's just, oh God, just chronic, chronic bad stuff like burning, pain, severe nausea. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Oops, sorry. And, um, and, um, it, I'm at a complete and total loss of what to do. I have all these anti-nausea supplements, but the past four days, they haven't really been helping that much. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But my goal, like I said, is going to be to figure it out. I really want to. I need to. I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking about acupuncture, actually, to see if that does anything. There's a little spot where I live that... Um, offers acupuncture for like 20 to 50 dollars per session so I'm thinking about maybe seeing if I can do a couple sessions I don't know I don't know how many sessions that I would need to have any relief if I'm gonna have relief at all so I'll have to figure that one out um Another goal, oh, fitness and diet. I, you know, I really want to lean up a little bit. You know, not that I'm fat or anything like that, but I just feel like I could look better, maybe. Um, my legs are, to me, my legs are a big problem area. They're just, they're just really chunky looking to me. And I, I just really want to, this year, I just really want to work on them more, lose some fat off of them if I can, and get them slimmer. If I can't, I mean, I guess that it is what it is but I would really like to look better in that area. I do, from giving birth to my son, I do have like some stretch marks and some wrinkliness on my stomach, but I think that the only way to fix that extra skin and wrinkliness would have to be with a, um, with getting a tummy tuck and I definitely can't afford that. Definitely. And if I could afford a plastic surgery, you know, it would be implants, breast implants, breast augmentation. So that's that. And diet, I really, I really want to go, excuse me, I really want to go low carb because, you know, since I have PCOS, that being low carb is something that we're, that is supposed to be really great. For us because we're said to all be insulin resistant but you know with my functional dyspepsia my stomach issues it's really hard to eat a lot of you know fat and cheeses and all that stuff it's really it's harder on your stomach in my opinion like when I'm having my severe flare-ups like I have been 
um, the past few days. I, I don't want to reach towards cheese for a snack. I want to go for carbs, like crackers, um, butter toast. That's what I usually go to when I'm having this discomfort. So I don't know if that's going to... I don't know. I'm going to keep trying the whole low-carb thing. Maybe if I am indeed insulin resistant, maybe treating that will help with my stomach problems. Because I read, I don't know, that's crazy. But that's crazy to me. But um, I read somewhere that insulin resistance can or does cause these hormonal issues. And the hormonal issues could cause the stomach issues, I guess, digestion issues. Like, if it is related to hormonal issues that I have, maybe if I am low-carb treating the insulin resistant, that that in turn will help my stomach issues. I don't know. It's But it's going to be really hard for me to go low carb. I definitely am not going to go keto at all, but yeah, low carb is going to be hard for me, but I guess I'm just going to have to keep trying. Um, yeah, I got my peppermint tea. Hopefully that'll help my stomach. It's really not yet, but whatever. So yeah, those are my goals. Just Figure out how, excuse me, I keep burping. That's part of the dyspepsia. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out how to live a better life, feel better. That's overall, my overall goal. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Oh, and I wanted to show my new uh, dreadlock jewelry here. It is so pretty. I got this from an Etsy shop called Love for Wraps. I'll put it in the description box, but it she has so many beautiful pieces of jewelry. It's, oh God, I just love this. The stone, it's purple. My Purple is my absolute favorite color. So, so I got this one. I think, I'm thinking I'm going to buy some more. Because, yeah, like I said, she has so many beautiful pieces of jewelry. It's awesome. She's awesome. So, yeah, that's it. This is my braid out that I've had for a week now. As you can see, the crimps are flattening out. I still like it, though. So that's it for this video. Um... If anyone watches it, thank you. Give me some feedback. Um, yeah. All right. Bye.